Hello Capricorn, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your October love reading. Cards were pre-shuffled to save time. Here we go, head of your reading. Two of Wands. A decision was made. This is like you've already sent out the intention and waiting for that law of attraction to bring it in the crossroad it can also mean travel looking out into the distance six of pentacles a steady flow of money or in the case of love reciprocity seven of pentacles queen of pentacles and the ace of cups look at this so capricorn energy being earth is bringing this cup of love now i have always seen this as divine energy the pouring of love from above but this is also a meaning of new love or the resurgence or rebirth of a current love there's reciprocity here equal give and take there's a time that's needed for patience <clears throat> So for some of you who are, you know, looking for a new, or you have an intention towards someone you want to be with, um, you're holding back just a little longer because only two of these pentacles have come to fruition. The rest will be ripe in a day or two or a week or two. So this is about being patient a little longer, waiting for that harvest to fully bloom before having... Um, a good harvest the queen of pentacles she's been through the harvest she's resting and enjoying the fruits of her labor blessed very blessed this love pouring down celebration hmm is there an event going on in October for you, Capricorn? Maybe this is about Halloween celebration. But this is also about just uniting. All having a, one mind of possibilities. Looking forward. Celebrating those fruits of the labors that you've worked hard at. You're not work celebrating alone. There's give and take here. So this crossroads is affecting this card as if to say you need to take one step forward to see the bigger picture. You see how this signifies divine feminine. She is one step in front of you and sees that bigger picture. You just need to take this one step, Capricorn. When you see that opportunity, that light, there's Divine Feminine. Come, step forward with me. You will see a bigger picture. We have a spy. Someone's watching you. Someone loves you dearly. Oh my goodness, look at this love. King of Cups is the King of Love. There's deep wisdom, deep love, deep connections. This feels like a spiritual connection with someone, not just on the physical, but on the other side, on in the other dimensions. So this person seems to be willing to, you can reverse the roles here if you like. But this person seems to be willing to stay in the background and just watch you until they're needed and they can step up to the plate in very loving support here. Wish fulfillment. Your cups are being filled here. 
this person is on board this person is willing to there's your there's your card the shadow side this really feels capricorn like take that step out into the light now this can mean you know shadow work it can mean codependency that can now all relationships have codependency involve codependency uh <clears throat> but is it healthy or is it toxic coming into the light you're going to have wish fulfillment this energy is coming out when it's needed being patient just a little longer this feels a bit like an event nine of pentacles independence blazing your own trail this person admires you now this could be them but they see this in this is just prior to being a queen so as far as the patience card here's where you're at here's where you're going you know you're going if you wait just a little longer and this is about uh, the flowers blooming wherever you step this person who is watching you that loves you deeply has you literally framed in beauty in beauty being the eye of the beholder they behold you in this light and look at that we had the crossroads here waiting for the law of attraction here we have it coming in and it was multiplied more than you expected could be that this card here was like uh oh law of attraction coming in did i do this right did i tie up all the loose ends did i cultivate the ground correctly should i worry about what's coming in absolutely not this is quite beautiful let's clarify this here's your card again the shadow sign maybe uh this feels like you need you need to step out um, of your comfort zone stepping out of your comfort zone you're being guided here you're being yeah guided taking control is going to bring this steady flow of reciprocity uh, beautiful I, I'm, I'm feeling the inf infinity symbol here seven of pentacles by golly when that harvest comes in you better race to to get it all don't let the fruit fall to the ground and rot it's celebration i mean a fitting october celebration sorry about any background noise you might be hearing uh, there's a carpenter outside building me a deck so celebration you know celebrating the harvest thanksgiving this may be telling you that Capricorn you can expect this feeling of beauty and love during Thanksgiving approachable something's coming towards you here Queen of Swords is approachable but oh she doesn't put up with any BS she can see right through it and you are going to know that this love coming in even if it's a divine blessing of love that bring you know that like trumpets this you're going to see it for what it is you're going to recognize it high priestess on that's the wrong deck we'll keep her there but funny that with the emperor who is ready to protect his kingdom at all costs will take control when necessary we have passion and it does feel like someone's coming in here that yes you could this could be your energy of course capricorn but this really does feel like theirs in a sense because of this card here the king of wands picks up the slack he's there to support he's loyal and faithful and honey can I help you with that you seem to be struggling and I don't want my precious 
darling, to struggle. This is a collaborative effort of celebration. This really truly feels like a celebration, an accomplishment in love, in your path. Ten of Wands, take that step forward and your burdens will be lifted. Don't be burdened with second guessing and feeling the worst. Oh, you get like self-sabotage. And what's that other one? That other saying? Self-fulfilling prophecy. By thinking the worst will happen, then it would happen. No, not at all. There's an incredible amount of energies of absolute love. Divine love. Something that raises your consciousness higher and your your love in a partnership to a higher spiritual level together you know it's like i'm sure you've you know, when two people who are in love and make love it's like leaving the earthly plane and dancing in that psychic realm all this person can do right now is watch you they want to come in with an offer could it be there was an argument and they want to make up? An eight of wands. Now we have two kings here on the end, right? So it could be about two people competing, but it does feel like if, if you're focused on one person here, Capricorn, that's where the energy belongs. They're in deep love, passion. There's a lot of communication coming in very, very quickly in the month of October. Could be you're getting offers from more than one person and it could be that this wish fulfillment here is that you hear from this person that you love dearly who loves you dearly sending out those psychic signals you've done that you're worrying about how that is going that prayer is going to be answered Wish fulfillment. Now, this is about being busy, but, you know, multitasking very successfully. But we also remember there's this infinity sign. I'm bringing things to balance. Even though the storms roil around you, you're finding that balance of, well, multitasking. will fall to the ground and be rotten but it does see you pick up in this energy cap your energy surges and say okay it's the the go button pushing forward on that harvest taking that leap of faith even though you're afraid to if anything this reading is telling you capricorn even if you're afraid to you need you take that leap, you will not lose your balance. You'll come out smelling like a rose. Three of swords and five of coins. Well, if not, it, it's only going to hurt you. But this is showing because of these cards that surround it, that this is the beginning of the healing. That leap of faith, as scary as it is, will be the beginning of your healing Cutting out the BS, wanting true love, loyalty, faithfulness. It's, it's here that law of attraction is coming in. And like I said, more so, the beauty of this coupling is that this is <coughs> the feeling that you have lost something. But it is not lost. You see the crocus coming out. Well, you can see that it is not lost. It's still there waiting for you. So maybe you were counting on, okay, I have to start over again or 
it's not working well but that harvest coming in those ships coming in are multiplied more than you expected is coming in this is the beginning of healing in a relationship or healing a part of you that opens the doors to this divine energy in relationships whether you're you're already connected with someone or your relationship that with a person of that you desire this possibility feels more like a probability for you in October Capricorn I hope that was helpful for you and I hope you subscribe and for those who are subscribed God bless you we'll see you again soon bye-bye for now